In other news out of Parliament today, Singapore has expressed its concern to Malaysia over the frequent recurrence of pollution along the Johor River. Petang tadi, Ketua Polis Langor Datuk Jamaluddin berkata dua individu ditahan bagi membantu siasatan kes pencemaran air di Sungai Selangor. For the 21st century, the environmental issue is one of the greatest problems throughout the world. Water pollution is one of the issues stated. Water is the most delicate part of the environment, which is basic for human and also in the industrial development. An increase in the population leads to an increase in the number of demand for water supply and safe water. This important resource should be managed in a sustainable manner in order to ascertain a sustainable improvement of human population in an environment with limited resources. There are a few causes of water pollution. The first cause of water pollution is oil spill. And oil spills is the release of a liquid petroleum hydrocarbon into the environment especially the marine ecosystem due to human activity and is a form of pollution. The term is usually given to marine oil spills where oil is released into the ocean or coastal water but spills may also occur on land. For example, in Malaysia, there are a few petroleum industry which already released the oil spill. The second cause of water pollution is radioactive substances. Radioactive substances happens when there is a nearest or affidavits of radioactive materials in the climate or condition, particularly where their quality is unplanned and when it presents an ecological risk because of radioactive rot. The third cause of water pollution is plastics. Plastic is a contamination from dispose of water bottles, polystyrene espresso cup, staple sack, and many more. For example, as we can see, usually people who are irresponsible will tend to throw the rubbish to the river and ocean. This will see how the people mindset not to love the river and ocean. Illegal waste disposal can be defined as dumping, tipping or burying waste on private or public land that is not licensed to accept it. The most common types of water contamination come from radioactive substances, oil pollution, sewage and wastewater, agriculture, river dumping, marine dumping and littering. Dumping sewage in the ocean has always been considered the cheapest and the easiest way of disposing waste. Toxic waste can harm people, animals and plants, whether it ends up in the ground, in streams or even in the air. Reports have stated that littering makes the aquatic life in the oceans and seas worsen in these days. Billion tons of litter end up in the ocean, reportedly bring 250 million tons of trash into the sea every year. Throughout many years, the environmental functions play a big role not only in urban areas but also in rural areas. It can be related to our river functions. River's quality is very important especially for the urban since it has many populations and this can be one of the sources for them to get clean water. Even though in urban areas seems to have to go through a modernization development, the issue of regards water pollution still happens. We can see that some of the river areas have problems because of the many disposal materials. This may affect the environment to be in a bad situation. It can also affect in rural areas. It is because in rural areas, they misuse the river as their sources for their crops and also for their business. If this water pollution arises, it may affect their environment. For example, their fish breeders' business may get a disease. This may stop their resources. Here is something you probably don't have to think about too much, diarrhea. For us, it's a nuisance that we experience after eating something that doesn't sit well with us. But diarrhea is not really a disease, but a symptom of a disease. The most common cause of this symptom of diarrhea is a virus that infects the gut. 
The infection usually lasts for a couple of days or so and can be treated in this country with an over-the-counter medication. But if you are a mother with a child in a developing country, you will look at diarrhea quite differently. Not long ago, as we stated in the introductory video, a child died from diarrhea about every 15 seconds. Because of progress that has been made towards the Millennium Development Goals for clean water, that number is now up to about one child every 40 seconds. That still means that an estimated 800,000 children younger than five years of age perish from diarrhea each year, or about 2,200 children every day, mostly in developing countries as a result of diarrheal diseases. The only bigger killer of children is pneumonia. Unsafe drinking water, inadequate availability of water for hygiene, and lack of access to sanitation together account for nearly 85 or 88 percent of these deaths from diarrheal diseases. Worldwide, millions of people are infected with diseases that are water or hygiene related, such as guinea worm disease, Beruli ulcer, trachoma, and schistosomiasis. These diseases, diseases are most often found in places with unsafe drinking water, poor sanitation, and insufficient hygiene practices. In order to overcome the problem, several solutions can be done, especially from the government. For example, by having efficient rivers management system and strengthening the rules and regulation. Firstly, the government had introduced Environmental Quality Act 1974, where these rules and the regulation have control and avoidance the raw water and river contamination resource that have been expected for the consumption. This regulation allowed the government to have the guideline on keeping the raw water and river clean. Nevertheless, in order for the government to make sure that this regulation being used and followed, there must be strong enforcement and laws regulation. Then by enforcing and strengthening the laws and regulation, it will help the government to overcome the problems and water river pollution. Other than that, by having an efficient river management system will help to overcome the problem faced regarding river and raw water pollution. The river and raw water should be in good condition that safe to be consumed. The government had come up with proper planning and management by introducing integrated water resource management known as IWRM and Integrated River Basin Management IRBM, where it helped on improving river quality. This plan helped the government to have proper management system on managing the river and avoiding pollution. Besides, it will help the responsible party to have a good supervision regarding the river and water issue. Moreover, we should reduce plastic consumption in order to overcome water pollution issue. There is a lot of plastic that is found in water, ocean, and rivers. Did you know that plastic takes almost 100,000 years for single plastic to damage? That's why we should avoid from using plastic by use a shopping bag, especially for grocery shopping. Besides that, we should use our own car, bottle, and keep using straw as possible. The government also play an important role by introducing a campaign on stop consume plastic bag and straw. This reducing will help overcome water pollution issues in Malaysia. Specifically, there are more than half the world's rivers are dying. As rivers become more polluted day by day, water becomes scarce. This will contribute to a dangerous condition whereby countries using the same river basin will get into disputes. According to a study done by DOE on 116 rivers nationwide, some 10% of these rivers are heavily polluted or dead, 63% are polluted, and only 27% are healthy in Malaysia. It is clear stated that in Malaysia, water has become the major subject in nationally for some time now. Water is the most severely threatened by pollution compared to other natural resources. For a developing country like Malaysia, having enough water is pivotal to its overall economic growth. Malaysia, which is a tropical country, will face clean water shortage, something which can become a reality at the rate the rivers are being polluted this day. Therefore, the following subject must be addressed to ensure sustainability of Malaysian water resources for now and also in the future. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Bye.